Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best batteries that you should be putting in your wireless gaming peripherals such as mice and keyboards. When I bought my Logitech G602 mouse about two years ago, I found that I did not want to use it because it was so heavy with conventional NICAD AA batteries. Right here alone, it weighs about 155 grams compared to the mouse that I switched from the Logitech G602 which only weighs about 100 grams. What I like in mice is being able to quickly move them across the table and not really have any resistance coming from the mouse itself. When you added about 50 grams of battery to the mouse, it just got so heavy that I really did not enjoy the experience of using it. So I've recently just found out that Energizer does make lithium batteries. So I'm going to try it out and see if this is the ultimate battery you guys should be using in your peripherals. <music> Now, before I actually get into the weight topic, I'm first going to talk about other types of batteries that you might want to consider. So what I have in my mouse right now is just the conventional NICAD AA batteries from Rayovac. And alone, each of these batteries weigh about 24 grams. And together, since this mouse does require two of them, that's going to be about 50 grams. Now, other batteries that you might want to consider are actually rechargeable batteries. Here I have some rechargeable NICAD Energizer batteries. And these are a bit more expensive than the NICAD batteries because you don't have to replace them all the time. And what's really nice about this is that if you use something a lot like a gaming mouse, you're not going to have to spend like $20, $30 a year just trying to keep all of your peripherals and controllers powered up. All you have to do is stick it into this device here and then just stick it into the wall. Nothing really different about it. These have been around for a really long time. And in my experience, they work really well. Now, if you look here at the rechargeable Duracell battery, on Amazon for a pack of four plus the charger they sell for about $13 and that is about $3.25 per battery. These are the most expensive batteries I'll be featuring today. These weigh about 30 grams so if you have these in your gaming mouse you can really notice that weight difference. Without any batteries it weighs about 105 grams and if I put two rechargeables in here it weighs a whopping 165 grams. It is incredibly distracting it's very hard to move the mouse around well it's not really hard for me at least it is not enjoyable moving the mouse around the desk now one more thing if your mouse has two negative terminals that each go in the same direction ie when you place in your batteries they're both going the same way in that might mean that you can get away with only using one battery. So if I just slot this in here, as you can see, the mouse is powered up and this is going to give you by far your lightest option. So the next option that you have are lithium batteries. And this is something, like I said, that I didn't really know about, but apparently we've actually had these batteries for about seven years. If you look at the expiration date of these, these expire in 2033. So that is about a 10 year lifespan. I'm not sure if the power was less than it originally was because I don't know if these have been used previously in the past seven years, but I do know that they were still working and they have been working flawlessly in my mouse ever since I put them in. If we weigh it, it only weighs about 14 grams, about 10 grams lighter than this and about 15 grams lighter than the rechargeable batteries. I know that they do sell rechargeable lithium batteries, which might be the ultimate option for you. I'm worried that it might weigh a bit more considering that these do weigh a bit more. And since I recorded this segment, I did actually pick up some rechargeable lithium ion batteries. And although they're a generic brand name, they do work quite well. I've been able to get about a week's worth of charge using a Roku remote, including powering the headphones and it does also come with this nice charger. These work by having a full three volts available in the battery and it ramps down to 1.5 volts to conserve on energy. The only real downside to using these however is that once it gets below 1.5 volts the battery completely dies. So if you have something that senses how much level you have remaining in your battery this might mess it up. Although they are heavier than a regular Energizer battery, these might be a more ideal option to use in your mice so that you don't have to replace these very expensive batteries. 
if I place both of these lithium batteries now, it does weigh about 135 grams compared to the 160 grams that I had with rechargeable batteries and the 150 grams that I had with regular batteries. I can move this a lot easier around the desk. Of course, this is still lighter and I still prefer the less weight of this, but then again, it's also wired and not everyone really likes to use a wired mouse. And if you look at the price for these batteries on Amazon right now, just regular AA batteries for energizers, a 24 pack costs about 16 cents. That's about 67 cents per battery. And if you look at the lithium ion batteries from energizer also, these only cost $1.72 per battery. So it is about a dollar more per battery. And if you're buying a bunch of them, you will notice that price. But I honestly think that that is a pretty good compromise. These batteries typically last a lot longer compared to other alkaline or NICAD batteries. These are reported to last up to two years in devices, especially devices like mice that have a relatively low power draw. And if you put a lithium ion battery in those devices, that means that you're going to go through fewer batteries and potentially even spend less, even though the battery itself costs more. So I would like to give just a bit of an editor's note. I did end up using the lithium batteries in my gaming mouse for six months until they died. And I would say that that is very impressive performance considering that the batteries were already seven years old before I put them in the mouse. We have also used these same Energizer batteries in our Blink Video doorbell without any external power connected to do both motion detection and video capture. And that also lasted about six months. I was able to find some lifespan tests online. One person did a test with a battery tester and found that the average alkaline batteries lasted about 25 minutes on average, whereas the Energizer lithium batteries lasted an entire 220 minutes on average. One other website did a low voltage test with the batteries and found that they lasted on average 10 hours more than a traditional battery, and with high voltage they lasted around 5 to 5 and a half hours more. Now the last thing I would like to discuss are some of the downsides to using a rechargeable battery. I found that they do last significantly less time compared to even a traditional alkaline battery. In all the remotes that I've used these batteries with, they've only lasted a week. So if you want to use a rechargeable battery in something like a smoke detector, that would really not be a good use case. These have a very long shelf life. They're reported up to having nine years of shelf life. And as this website says, lithium AA batteries do not leak over time, unlike many cheaper varieties such as these alkaline batteries, which is huge if you're putting it in a sensitive device like a camera. I did have leaking damage from a previous battery that I put in this mouse it's all over the place here. I tried to clean it out, but it did do a bit of damage to the coils, especially if you leave batteries in and then forget that they are in the device. Eventually they're just going to leak. You're going to have a real bad time trying to clean that up. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was relatively informative and I hope that you do decide to pick up some lithium batteries or even some rechargeable lithium batteries. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.